Jose Mourinho says after three wins in a row, Manchester United are getting better. Trust me, my instinct's still there. If I see the chance to take him out, I will. But... The Talk Sport Clips of the Week. Uh, yes, uh, time now for Clips of the Week. Uh, Paul's away, so it's not your regular Clips of the Week, is it, Andy? We do a special. Yeah, it's a Jim White special. It's a Jim White special. Uh, do you want to start? Do you want me to start? You start. Okay, we start then uh, with Jim taking a call. Phil, you're a West Brom fan. Phil, good morning. Morning, Jim. Morning, Hello. Morning, Phil. Uh, Phil, without me putting words in your mouth, I've never spoken to you before in my life, have you? Have I? Yes. Right. Sorry? Yes, last week. <laughs> you make a very good magician, <laughs> <wouldn't> it, Jim. <laughs> Not fair, is it? <laughs> Here he is now with a bit of old school smut. Lisa, just on this situation with uh, Johanna Conta, I mean, the old Paul exploded this morning. <laughs> <laughs> that was outrageous from what? Who knew? <laughs> yeah, that time of the morning as well. <laughs> Disgraceful behaviour. Now, we know Jim is the king of the transfer window. Uh, this is a new phrase. Manchester City, it's being reported, are trying to get Alexis Sanchez over the door. <laughs> or across the door, across no, no. the line. Over the door. <laughs> it was like a big door frame they have <laughs> Quite at true. Old Trafford. And like the players, like they, have to, they have to, it's like a team bonding exercise. <laughs> Smalling and Jones will go down like a human pyramid and then Fellaini stands on them and then they hoy Alexis Sanchez over the door and then uh, he has to be caught by the coaching staff. Sounds good. Hmm. First of a couple of musical numbers now and here's Jim saying a fond farewell to Sam Allardyce. Sam Allardyce, I've loved it. Uh, thanks for doing the three hours and it's flown. Terrific stuff, Sam. And we want you back. Want you back in the game. Yes, which did remind us of something. <laughs> whatever I said, whatever I did, I didn't mean it. I just want you back for good. We want you back. We want you back. We want you back in the game. Whatever I'm wrong, just tell me the song and I'll sing. Oh, this is Jim with Simon Jordan bemoaning the modern day football fan. Some of the pure Arsenal fans that are sat there watching the game with their hampers are not necessarily the kind of support you want per se anyway. Yeah, yeah. Roy, Roy, Roy Keane's uh, Prawn Crackers Brigade. Surely that's Chinese football. <laughs> <laughs> this is Jim chatting to Dick Abacar now. They could take the counter-attack and, and, the, and yeah, that works out for, very well. Dick, I want to ask you specifically. <laughs> no, no. Did he just? What did he call him? Dick. Oh, oh, yeah, there yeah, we are. Well, yeah. fair enough. You know, if you don't no. like someone, you've got to be straight in no, this no, game. That's their you? mates. That's his nickname yeah, or something. Absolutely. Here's Jim with a bit of news we weren't expecting to hear. Now then, 12 noon, we are still digesting Keith Harris. <laughs> Which one? Yeah. That's the question, that's a good isn't question. it? Because, uh, you know, harder to, to digest Keith and Orville, <laughs> isn't it? Um, he's a very polite man, is Jim, uh, as he showed when introducing this guest. Alex, uh, I think there's a slight delay on the line, so bear with me. Good morning to me. <laughs> yes, OK. And uh, this is Jim introducing the news. Scotland, meantime, top of Group F. What can I say? Looking forward to this. In the meantime, let's get the nude headlines from Pete Abbott. <laughs> you wouldn't want Pete. Uh, if you're oh, gonna, you, you know, he looks that, lovely. What do you think? <laughs> I would like Pete Abbott fully, fully clothed, please. Um, uh, I have to say, I did wonder which team they'd be talking about on the show after this bit of music. Bob, Tony, we're talking Leeds United. <laughs> yes, I thought he was going to be Burnley. I really did. <laughs> it was a surprise to me. <laughs> and now here he is, talking Manchester United. Mourinho's head has been down in America, and last night in Germany, they lose 1-0 to Bayern Munich. And the team that started last night, De Gea, Damian, Baye, Lindelof, Shaw, Herrera, Pereira, Fred. Of course, that did remind us of something. This was in Clips of the Month, wasn't it, recently? <laughs> Herrera, Pereira, Fred. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, Lee is the king of the big interview, isn't he, uh, Jim? Oh, yeah. Here is Jim White uh, with former Sunderland boss Simon Grayson. I've been to quite a few concerts over the last few weeks. I like my music, so I've been out watching uh, The Killers, Kasabian, and a few <laughs> other concerts like that. Um, what sort of music so are you into? The Killers, Kasabian, <laughs> music like that, I think. What do you think? I think that's pretty accurate. I think he likes The Killers, Simon <laughs> Grayson. I certainly know that. And on a similar theme, here he is with Arsenal legend Carnu. It's my understanding you've also managed to build five hospitals around Africa. Is that right? Uh, no, it's not right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's, a it's a good guess, though, <laughs> isn't it? Um, <laughs> this is this is Jim beginning another mid-morning show. It's Jim White with Mick Quinn and Bob Mills. We are with you for a busy morning right through until one o'clock. Cock. Oh, it's quite a quiet one, though. It was very strange we, we, quality. We, of we, dulled, we dulled the volume because of the potty now <laughs> nature of the clip. We only wanted people. That may be the equipment. We've only got one more to do, <clears> so okay, even fine. if it's just silent like that. Mm. And finally, who is the majority shareholder at Everton? I can never quite remember, but I'm sure Jim will tell us. I had a very long conversation with the coolest guy in town, who is Farhad Mashiri. The reason I mentioned Farhad this morning, the neighbour of Mashiri, Farhad Mashiri. I got in touch with Farhad Mashiri, majority shareholder Farhad Mashiri. Mashiri was saying, look, Jim, it's not an issue that Mr Mashiri was demonstrating to me last night. Farhad Mashiri, the majority shareholder of Everton. I like Mashiri on the red carpet. Farhad Mashiri is my old chum, uh, majority shareholder of Everton, Farhad Mashiri. Just combination of Mashiri. When Mashiri was on, I'm hearing the Mashiri, the, the majority shareholder, he's bought the Liver building. The Liver building. Absolutely love it. What is it used for? Now it's in the hands of Mr. Mashiri. Billionaire at the top of the house these days, Farhad Mashiri. With Mashiri at the top of the house, Mashiri, Everton under Mashiri are going to become stronger. Mashiri, this is a man who does deals in St. Petersburg. Does Mashiri well, go into the market? Farhad Mashiri. Farhad Mashiri. Hi to you, Farhad. So that is just into me there from Farhad Mashiri. You've met... Farhad Mashiri. Farhad Mashiri. Didn't expect to hear from Mashiri. Farhad Mashiri. Mashiri confirmed yesterday to hear from Mashiri. Farhad Mashiri, good afternoon to you. There we are. Farhad Mashiri. Farhad Mashiri. Jim White doesn't really know Farhad Mashiri. <laughs> what about Ronan de Chatelet? <laughs> <laughs> Where's that next? I'll be there. Fucking, you know, I'll, I'll pay, obviously, but, you know.